Jim Shatner can, I can too. Captain Kirk got to sing the blue. No, I, 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 I'm, uh, ready? I think the movie I get most recognized for, uh, you know, obviously is Dumb and Dumber. We kind of, we figured 15 year old boys would think it was Citizen Kane, but we didn't think anybody else. And, and we were hopeful that, that people of, of an older age would find it funny, but you know, I was just doing it because I wanted to work with Jim and the Farrelly brothers and it was an outrageous script and if we did it right then maybe we, uh, it might reach beyond the, the teenage bracket and, and it did and then it really did and then, I, but we had no idea that it was going to become the, the uh, cinematic legend that it has become. If I had failed as an actor, and, uh, and I certainly failed as an actor, but I had enough success to stay in the business until it was like, oh, okay, I can do this with my life and make a living at it great. But if I'd failed, I would have gone back more than likely to Michigan and, and been involved in my family's lumber company, um, Chelsea Lumber Company. There is no way that I would have uh, been able to run it because simply put, I'm not good at math. And if you can't do geometry and trigonometry and algebra and all that stuff that carpenters and, you know, you, you've got to be able to add. And I'm an idiot. Not all of us make 20 million a movie, but the really good scripts, at least for guys like me and many guys, you know, under the A-list, um, are in the independent world. And, you know, after you've done a lot of films, you want to be challenged. You get bored really quickly. and. Um, you, you know, whether it's God of Carnage on Broadway or whether it's an independent film like The Answer Man or Paper Man, you know, you, you look at the script and go, do I know how to do this? And if you don't, if you might fail miserably, then that's uh, a, a great reason to take it. I feel real sorry for Kevin Bacon that for some reason, you know, he was a guy a really good actor who's made, I don't know, 50, 60 movies, you know, and when you make that many movies, yeah, eventually Hollywood and the, it becomes a kind of a small town and you end up working with everybody. I don't think Kevin's alone in that. Um, you know, I'm glad they haven't got a game for me that way, but, you know, uh, you know, Kevin's a lot more than six degrees of separation. When we shot Squid and the Whale, uh, I remember on the day we wrapped, it, we had no distribution. We didn't know if anyone would ever see this. Laura, Linney, and I, and, and everybody, we, we were pay, paid next to nothing. And it's one of those things that you hope it turns out well. And then it got into Sundance, and then it got into the Toronto Film Festival and the New York Festival, and, and then it just snowballed. With a little film like that, you have to go out and work it. You have to campaign. So. We did that, and uh, I figured that if nothing else, uh, it would help the film, and it would help me, and people would, more people would see it. And um, you know, if you're in something that you think is good and that you think you're good in it, then go out and support it. You know, and then then the closer it got to here come the nominations, it really came down to about seven or eight of us, and I figured I was an outside shot just because I was an indie. Um, it was an indie film with a, you know, with a, with a less than heroic performance. And, um, you know, it helps if you're heroic, I think. It helps if you're something other than what I was in Squid. And, and so it's okay. I, to be honest, when I watched the nominations roll out that morning, I was relieved. I took a big, oh, God, it's over, breath, because it had been five months of trying to just stay in that game, whatever that game is. It's like running for president. I was told that, and it's true. I'll never do it again, you know? Uh, it was, I had a great time, met a lot of great people, but I'll never put myself through that again. Uh, one of the things that uh, people don't know about me and uh, is that I've been playing guitar and writing songs for about 30 years. Now, before, you know, everyone panics, uh, I know one of the most terrifying things in the world is when an actor decides he's a rock star. And um, I, I like to think of it as just something that we do that's, that's kind of coming from the same creative well when actors kind of do other things. And um, So I've been playing guitar for about 30 years and uh, I got some CDs. 
which I use to raise money for my theater company, Perboros Theater Company in Chelsea, Michigan. Mm -hmm.